Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's July. Oh, no. I need my watch. A tragedy strikes. <laughs> um, I'm not going to go back inside to get my watch, or should I? Okay, I'm going to go back inside and get my watch. <laughs> I said to myself, you're going to start a video clip, gather your thoughts, because I'm always so scatterbrained whenever I start recording. And here I am, scatterbrained again. Um, so I'm going to go inside and get my apple watch and i'm also gonna pick up the cat's food because if i don't pick it up then the ants attack it for some reason i've only dodging the sprinklers <laughs> all right i'm back i have my apple watch and i picked up the cat's food seriously like if i don't pick up their wet food there's like an like ants come and get it and i don't understand like where they come from we've had an exterminator come i don't know but I could be living here for much longer, so <laughs> I'm over it. Um, I got hit by a sprinkler when I was out there, so, you know, I tried to dodge it, but it didn't last very long. <laughs> Anyways, today is Tuesday, the July 24th, I believe, and this is the last week of summer school. Summer school is only four weeks, so we started at the beginning of July, and now this is the last week of July and the last week of summer school. So we are doing benchmarking today or running records today on every student to show the growth that they made in summer school so I have to test every student today which is a fun time it's not a fun time <laughs> um so it's gonna be a lot of like independent work for them and like review work because that's what they want us to do for this week and that's the only way to get every student benchmarked um in four days in four days and three hours pretty much so <laughs> three hours each so yeah it's a fun time um this weekend was great we had a garage sale this weekend because Billy was like when we were moving and stuff he was going through all of his old things that like his mom kept in the attic and like whatever so we sold a bunch of stuff we made some good money and we're really excited um just to like get rid of the stuff because it's garbage to us but people get so like excited over some things like I, there was this boy yesterday or on saturday with his family that came and he saw like bionicles Do you guys remember bionicles he saw bionicles and he screamed for joy and it was the sweetest thing and it was like a whole i think it was two boxes like two huge boxes of bionicles and he freaked out over them and yeah they left very happy and we were happy because we're like we got rid of those bionicles and everything's in good shape it's just like we i'm not we're not using bionicles anymore you know so what is it one man's trash is another one's treasure or something like that i don't know but yeah so we did that this weekend and then yesterday um billy's mom invited us over for like to hang out by the pool and dinner after because they were helping us or they were doing the garage sale too so we went in the pool we had a margarita i don't like margaritas come to the conclusion not my favorite um but then i added some like spicy jalapeno juice in it and then it was good it was like a spicy margarita um but yeah not a big fan of tequila that's the problem and then we ate dinner and it was delicious we had a great time and then we came back home and blew up our new air mattress because brady my cat popped our other air mattress and it was terrible sleeping on a half inflated air mattress for one night thank goodness amazon was able to ship us a thing like next day it was so bad i could have went no i actually couldn't have went to the store because we were just so busy i had no time to go get a air freaking air mattress stupid but only a couple more days of sleeping on an air mattress and then we move and yeah so there's a lot going on guys a lot going on a lot of updates we're getting married in two weeks so we're getting married on a cruise and then we're coming back from the cruise and we're having like the whole party with like our family so our immediate family is going on the cruise like our parents and my grandparents and my siblings and then we're having like a big party with like our whole family and stuff like that and we're gonna redo the ceremony and it's gonna be like really fun because there's a bunch of surprises in there and i'm so excited for it um and then today we actually have a cake tasting after work today <clears throat> and then i have to go get my my tb test checked can't even see it anymore um 
because I have to get a TV test for my new job and, you know, whatever. So I got a little burned yesterday from being out in the sun, but I'm going to head to work now. It's 7.15 and I am going to go get myself organized for this week. I'm pretty much good to go for today. I just want to make a couple copies of some different worksheets so that they can work on while I'm doing their running records and stuff. Um, and yeah, so that's it. I will try to update you a little bit more, but it's going to be just super crazy in school this week because of benchmarking and running records and stuff. So I will try my best, but if not, I will talk to you after work today. All right, in the car now. It is after school, after work, and today was just full of benchmarking, running records, whatever you want to call them. Technically, it's a running record. Um, so that was what my day was filled with. I did seven today. Seven. That is so many. <laughs> okay, not a teacher, or if you're going to be a new teacher, or whatever the case is, and you don't know what a running record is, it is when... <sighs> A student has to read it's it's to see like what level the student is reading at so the student will sit in front of you and you will have them read the book to you and you have to check off every single word in the book that they say or don't say or mess up say it incorrectly or they said a different word or they didn't say the word at all or you had to help them with the word you have to mark all of that so you have to listen to every word in the book most of the time normally it's about like 100 words but the ones that we're doing is every word in the book which is like crazy to me so oh it's a lot but we did seven of them today so we got that we probably did about half so we'll do i'm gonna shoot to finish tomorrow and then wednesday if i need like any last minute for students who were absent or whatever the case is then i'll do that but so that's what a running record is and it's just to see like what level they're reading at how many errors do they have and then you ask comprehension questions and you know you ask them tell me about the book what's the lesson in the story or just like is it fiction non-fiction is this real or fake can this happen in real different types of questions about the story um so yeah, there's different ways to do them like there's benchmarking there's running records so it's just it's, it's a little bit different but that was what i did today seven times and after about the second one you're kind of like i'm good like i'm checked out i don't want to listen to any more students reading because you get the students that zoom through it and you can barely keep up you have to check every word so you can barely like keep up your hand can't go fast enough and then there's some where they read very slowly and their fluency is pretty low or they have to decode every word and that like you want to help them but you can't because it's like a test like they have to do it by themselves so yeah that's that was my day today so we're gonna do that again tomorrow on wednesday if we need and then thursday everything has to be submitted on thursday by like 10 a.m so yeah Thursday will be a nice chill day because all of our materials have to get handed in so it'll be a lot of just hanging around and chatting and playing games like sight word games and math games and stuff so that's kind of where I'm at um so I'm heading home right now it's 12 10 we have cake tasting at one so I'm going to pretty much pick Billy up and then head over there and then my doctor's appointment you can see the mark anymore so hopefully I know that's a good thing, but hopefully you don't give me a problem because you're supposed to go either 48 hours to 72 hours after you had the test done. And I'm really pushing 72 hours right now. So, but they made my appointment, they were well aware. So hopefully I don't have any problems with that because I need this test done before I can start work in South Carolina. But yeah. Um, any woozy, I'm gonna go because we're gonna go do our cake tasting. And then I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another day of the last week of summer school. Can't believe it. It's crazy. He got <laughs> Kronk is just behind you staring. Just being supportive. Okay, don't mind all of the craziness that's happening all around. Move We're in the process of moving. We have no furniture. Gronk is staring. And Brady is on a deflated air mattress. Oh, so happy. <laughs> looks livid. And this guy over here got his um, wedding band. 
We bought two other ones and they were too big. They didn't fit. Rip it, rip it. Is there a rip spot? What the hell? You never opened an Amazon package in your life? I don't order things. Oh, it's scary. I don't order things. What do you mean scary? I don't order All the things. water bottles behind you? Don't mind the mess, guys. King ring. I'm moving in like a week. This is Open the nine. It. This is the nine. So we so got nine, nine and ten. Or no, nine eight and nine. Eight. So this is the bigger one. My gut tells me eight's gonna fit. Yeah. Because what else is life? So it comes in this nice little box. We get box. to bring those donation bags. Ugh, Gronk ripped up the box. Guys, Which, just don't look. Which slides <laughs> out to this nice them. little box. I can't wait to and see the black. We bought this it's ring. It's a bag we, inside of the box. We bought this ring with silver in the middle. Yes. And but then, we think the black one will look nicer. So this is all black. Yes. Black does look good. It looks good. I see what it These are from Amazon, by the way. Because he plans on getting a tattoo eventually of the wedding ring. So... He's not going to actually wear it, he's just going to wear it for the wedding, I guess. Brady's going in the box. <laughs> See? I can't get rid of the box. Does it fit? I don't know. It looks Maybe. like it fits. Let's see it. It looks better. Up close and poisonal. Oh, it looks good. It looks I like the all black. The all black looks really good. It's better in the black. All right. What do you think? Maybe this is the size. Well, we'll see how yeah, the this eight. is on there pretty good. Yeah, the eight might be too small then. Yeah, this is say you're nine. The size. I don't even know. I'm a freaking four, I guys. I don't know how to get this off. What was the other size? A ten and a, a ten, ten was which huge. You had so the how ten could there be so this big. much difference between one size? I don't think the ten was that big on you actually. Remember, it really wasn't that big. It was like this. Yeah, but I never you're going even down tried. full sizes. You're not going down half sizes. I never sizes. even tried it. Maybe that's what it is. I never even tried on the eleven. The 10 was so big. Oh, yeah, no, the 11 was. This is on there. I can't get this off. This is hard to get Stuck off. Stuck on there forever. Definitely the black over the silver. Black. Yeah, no, the black looks I guess really we could have recorded this. You look cute the, with a wedding we ring. We could have recorded us doing the. Look at you, so cute black. with a wedding ring. Or oh, wedding band, I guess you would call it. Yeah, look, and it spins. Yeah, it's actually like a fidget. We didn't know, but it's like a fidget wedding band. Is, is it, does it show up on the, like, focus? Yeah, move it. There you go. So it's got two gears in the middle, and they can spin the same way, opposite ways. I think it's cool. I like it. Definitely the black. Yeah, the black looks better than the silver. Yeah, silver's a little, like, it's just too much. Yeah. Yeah, like, when I take mine off, actually, mine kind of slides. Yeah, mine yeah. did not do that so easily. But mine didn't before. I don't know, should we get a bigger size? You're definitely, like, a freaking half size, which is annoying. I'm a nine and a half, probably. Mm-hmm. But no, I don't want to get it. It doesn't <sighs> come in at nine and a half, and I don't want to get a ten because that's huge. I'd have to. Yeah. I have to stuff. I have to put like tissue around it to stuff it a little. Yeah. All right. Well, that is the hype around the ring. One more time. You look so cute with a wedding band on. You should wear it forever. Is that what I should do? Yeah, you look so cute. Leave it down in the comments, guys. Yeah, comment. <laughs> comment down below, guys, that he should wear it forever. Okay, bye. It's the second to last day of summer school. It's Wednesday, second to last day of summer school. I'm gonna start packing up before my kiddos come in. I have about 20 minutes. This is all my stuff that needs to kind of just be organized. So we'll see how this goes. <laughs> all right, I quickly organized my stuff in this bin. I just have a couple more things like games that they're gonna play today and tomorrow. So I'll officially finish packing up tomorrow. Hello everybody. We are gonna do some cake tasting. We, I guess don't do it at the place apparently. They gave us this box and we took it home and then we just tell them what flavors that we want. So it is July 26th. I think and our wedding is for this one it's August 12th so I, I can't do this I need a scissor okay so on here the flavors are cannoli with chocolate chips vanilla custard 
raspberry mousse, pineapple mousse, strawberry mousse, chocolate mousse, and chocolate pudding. And then I think they throw in a whipped cream icing, but I don't think that's part of our package, so. We probably have to pay extra for that one. Okay, I'm excited. Are you excited? Yeah. Okay. Pumped. This is the best part of the whole wedding planning. <laughs> We're going to eat cake. We're going to eat some cake. Let me turn this way. Oh, no. Okay. Oh. Oh, they're kind of big. Remember the order. Should we take a picture Look to remember at the order? Smile for a thumbnail. It's on... Oh, it does say it there, it but says it says it's, it's not, not included. included. Okay, wait. Vanilla cake with cannoli and chocolate chips. This one. So it goes this way. Vanilla cake, custard, raspberry, pineapple. Why is this here an alarm <laughs> at 6.45 in the evening? <laughs> okay. Okay. So we have... We have... Cannoli, vanilla cannoli with chocolate chips, chocolate cannoli with chocolate chips, vanilla custard, raspberry mousse, pineapple mousse, strawberry mousse, chocolate mousse, chocolate pudding, red velvet, and then the whipped cream. Okay. Cheers. Are we eating the same one first? Or yeah, are they let's, let's start with the first one so we go in order. So we're doing vanilla, vanilla cannoli. Vanilla cannoli with chocolate chips. Ready? It smells fantastic. Don't eat too much. I love pig. That's not my favorite. Well, by default, it has to be. You only have one. I just don't like cannolis. I like cannolis. And I can taste, it's like weird. It tastes like cannoli. It All tastes right. exactly like what it's supposed We're to taste We're not going like. to have chocolate cake, right? No, this one's gonna suck. Okay, so we'll save that for last because I don't want to get like full, you know? Yeah, and that's chocolate with cannoli, so if you didn't like vanilla with cannoli, you're not gonna like it's chocolate. It's the same thing, we don't even have chocolate cake anyway, so. Oh, yeah, we picked all vanilla cake. Yeah, so this is just like the icing. Okay, so we're gonna skip and go to vanilla custard. I have very high hopes. I feel like this is gonna be good, yeah. I'm a custard man. Almost like pudding. Your mom said, what car? Tastes like pudding. Okay, definitely that over cannoli. I'm confused. Does this go on top of the cake or in the middle? It's in between the layers. This would be good in between. Right, it's better than cannoli. Yeah, that's that's, really good. that's good. If none of them are up to par with that one, then I think obviously the cannoli, because the cannoli is not bad. It's just like. I like it. I don't know. I just don't like cannoli. You're not Italian. I'm not Italian. What's the next one? The next one raspberry. is raspberry mousse. Has some potential. Okay, we're cleaning our palates. At least we know pineapple will be bad. We can skip that one. Cleansing our palates. Okay. Raspberry mousse. Wait. So you gotta cleanse your palate again. That's actually pretty good. Wow. It's different. It might be my favorite. It's really sweet. I'm really surprised. That's probably my favorite one so far. It's really sweet. I'm shocked at how much I like that. I feel like it's a good, like, different really one. Good. I feel like if we do cannoli, like, I can already tell what we're going to do. That was really cannoli, good. Cannoli, raspberry, and, like, a chocolate. This is custard. Custard, raspberry, and a chocolate. I bet you. If it's a chocolate, like I need, a little that, bit I need of everything. that pudding, bro. All right, next bro, one Give me is that pudding. Pineapple mousse. And I love pineapple. I don't know. Do I want it in my cake? I'm kind of nervous to eat it. Yeah. Oh, I got a chunk. Oh. It's okay. It's not good. I didn't get a chunk. So I got a I chunk of pineapple. It. It's okay, but it's not. It's not bad. It's not great. I feel like it would be good without the chunk. Eat another piece. No, because the chunks are going to be in it. 
All right, next one, strawberry mousse. Good. I like that one. Yeah. So, I, can't, I literally can't eat it. I think you very... It's so... Very much over-exaggerated it. I'm not. That was good. I like strawberry. Ugh. It tastes like a strawberry milkshake. No. Ew, I like, actually can't eat that. Okay. Ugh. We're gonna say that one's out. Ew. No. Terrible. I can't wait to eat all the scraps after we finish tasting them all. Yeah, I will not be eating any of this. <laughs> Okay, next one, I chocolate mousse. Thing. Chocolate mousse. Oh, we only have two more. Three more. Well, this one's not included, so we're not getting this one. <laughs> I'm not paying extra for this cake. My stomach is kind of hurting. Thank God we only have two more. I don't know. It's okay. No. Not no vibe. I literally, I'm gonna wipe off this fork because I cannot eat. You and the strawberry, what's your deal, bro? It really wasn't that bad. Maybe you're supposed to cleanse your palate with the whipped cream. I don't like. Why did you eat the whipped cream? You're supposed to do it together. I thought that was to cleanse your palate. <laughs> Why would that be to cleanse your palate? Because whipped cream probably does cleanse your palate. You're probably, right? you're probably supposed to dip it with a little bit of everything because you will have probably have icing. Are right, we going pudding? Yeah, I have. This I, one's gonna I be think good. this one's going to be good. So far, I feel like it's very obvious which ones we will be taking. And I called it too. Maybe. I I'm literally, I don't think I'm going to be able to eat the red velvet. <laughs> I might throw up. I like the pudding. Yeah. As I expected. That's a better chocolate. Yeah, this is not. This is just average. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. One, two, three. Custard. Custard. Raspberry. Raspberry. Chocolate pudding. pudding. Yeah. Not even not even a debate. No. Not even a debate. Custard, raspberry, pudding. Fourth place, though. Honorable mention goes well, to cannoli. Cannoli, unfortunately, because the pineapple was absolutely horrendous. Pineapple was not horrendous. Oh, you just couldn't work with them. I get the though. chills with the strawberry. That's raw taste red velvet. I'm going to try this one. I like red velvet. I this like, is I like, cream cheese icing. I like the icing, too. I like cream cheese icing. I'm so full. It's good. But I actually don't think it's better than... The best one might actually be this raspberry. The raspberry was really good. I'm surprised how much I like Something that. about that strawberry. Yeah, I don't know what you're dealing with that. I don't know why you hated that so much. All right, and just because it's our wedding cake, we have to try the chocolate one. Cannoli tastes like, it has an aftertaste of like fireball. Cinnamon? <laughs> <laughs> Comment down below if you think she's being overdramatic. We're eating cake. She's spinning it I'm up. I'm not. Like, you know I have like weird food aversions. Like you're eating eel. No, I get these weird food aversions. Like I, once one little thing like sets me off, I can't eat anymore. What is good? Oh, you have to try the icing. These are going to be what our flowers are on Sporting. it, I think. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. This is my final and last day teaching in New York. How crazy is that? I can't believe how fast summer school went. It's a four week long program and it flew by. I remember like when me and Billy were talking about like if I was gonna do summer school because guys, like I'm not gonna lie to you, the money is so good. It's from eight to 12 and it's only Monday through Thursday. So, and teachers get paid pretty decently in New York. So the pay was really nice. So we were debating if we were gonna move, like officially move to South Carolina in July or if we were going to stay and I could teach summer school and make a couple extra bucks and you know then live off of an air mattress and be crazy and we chose that route so um yeah it's been really really fun I've been trying to enjoy it even though Brady popped our air mattress 
the other day. So we got a new one, thank goodness. But it's just been an experience, but it's something we'll always look back on and be like, remember when we slept on an air mattress for a month and a half? Like what was wrong with us? <laughs> but yeah, um, today's the last day I will be teaching in New York ever. And that is just really, really crazy to me. And I don't think it'll be like so crazy because all of the people that I'm like close with at my school are coming to my wedding. So I'm going to see them. It's just like the couple random people that I talk to pretty much every day. And okay, Brady, I can hear you. He's meowing like crazy because he wants to come in. Um, then I'm gonna like this. I don't even know if I'm gonna say goodbye. I don't like goodbyes, guys. I really don't like saying goodbye. And I don't wanna say goodbye. First of all, I'm just like awkward and I don't know, but this will be my last day. So it's gonna be a chill day. Um, I do have to hand in all my um, like benchmarking books, running record books at 10 o'clock today. So I'm hoping that my students like don't come that need to be benchmarked because I won't like really have time. Um, so we'll see about that, but I don't know. It's just crazy. I can't believe that this is my last day teaching in New York. That is like wild to me. But I am gonna be getting Starbucks today since it's my last day. <laughs> and then Billy is right after, Billy is going to be flying a plane. Um, not really sure like what's happening with that. <laughs> but there's like a smaller like private airport near us and he, is going to fly a plane with them, like with an instructor, but he's never flown a plane before. So I'm, it says that he'll be able to land it and take off, which is pretty cool. But I'm just wondering who's gonna let him in charge of that because he, it's like a thing though. Like they let you, it's like a thing that you can buy to let you fly. So I don't know. So that's on the agenda today. And then we, I have to do stuff for school. I wanna plan for the rest of my first week in South Carolina. I actually had a nightmare um, just like as I was sleeping that I was definitely not prepared for the first day of school. And that kind of scared me. I think it's just like my subconscious because I feel like with the wedding and with the move and the new school, like everything is just like crazy and out of my control because I can't be there. So I feel like it was just like, me subconsciously feeling like it's gonna be crazy but it is all good um yeah i i'm not gonna do my hair i am not going to do my makeup because it's gonna be hot in that building today we do not have air conditioning um and yeah so i'm going to get dressed i'm gonna wear my blue dress the one that i actually got engaged in because i feel like a dress a little cute for the last day of school and then I'm gonna place my order Starbucks, feed the cats, feed Dan, who is my tortoise. And then I will head out, go pick up my Starbucks and then head to work. I know I can't like vlog in there because I have a TA in my room all the time and people coming in and out of my room. So I am very awkward and I'm not gonna record. Obviously I can't record my students and I'm not gonna record my TA and anything like that. So it's kind of difficult for me to record, but I will update you later on when I'm running around crazy trying to make it to Billy's flying thing <laughs> but I will I'll update you at the end I can't believe it is the last day and then it's wedding time what is on my nose do you see that you see that I think I'm peeling it's wedding time my wedding is like eight days away oh my god that's crazy seven I think <gasps> oh my god okay goodbye I'll see you All right, everybody, that is a wrap for the last day of summer school and just summer school in general and teaching in New York. That's crazy. Yes, um, felt like I was gonna cry, but I reeled it in. I held it back because I didn't wanna make a fool of myself. <laughs> no, but we were like, you know, I was saying goodbye to my AP. She's the principal of summer school. She's my normal AP. Um, 
and so she was there and it was really sad. I had a hand in my computer and it's just like over and I can't believe it. But I know this next chapter is going to be so great. And I know, already know that I'm working with and for amazing people. So I'm really excited about working at my new school and this next chapter and the wedding and moving into our house and living in a new state. Oh my goodness, I can't, I'm sorry, I'm like shaking. The camera is moving like crazy. Um, so yeah, all exciting things, really, really excited. But a little sad, a little sad. But I know I'm on to better, bigger and better things, so. I'm going to end this video here. I hope that you enjoyed my last week of summer school. I know it was probably a little bit short because like I said, I can't really film in there. Summer school is just so much different from regular school. So it's really hard to record anything really. Um, but yeah, I hope that you enjoyed and I'm off to South Carolina for orientation and a little bit of finishing up my classroom. I already got like pretty much the basics down, but I will definitely record a lot more when I'm there um, on Monday because I'll just be by myself. My little sister's gonna come with me, but um, I'll just pretty much be by myself and I won't feel awkward and I will probably think about it more like taking out the camera. Normally when I'm like setting up my classroom, I'm not thinking about taking out my camera. Um, but so I'll definitely do that on Monday when I'm there and then Tuesday, Wednesday's orientation. And then I head back to New York we go on our cruise, getting married on the cruise, and then we're having like the big shebang, whole party, everything like that, um, that Saturday. And then after that, I come back to South Carolina and I start my job. So it's like so crazy. I can't believe that we're like here already because I, I think I said this in the beginning of the video, like me and Billy talked about like if I was gonna do summer school or not. And we talked about like, oh my gosh, it's going to be so crazy when we're doing it and, you know, living on an air mattress. But I just can't believe that it's over. Like I thought I had so much time, but I have no time left because I'm going to be in South Carolina. And yeah, it's just crazy. It's a little sad, but, you know, we're leaving behind New York. Like I'm excited, obviously, but it's obviously sad. Like our families are here and just apartment. We lived in this apartment for five years. So it's gonna be a sad saying bye to our apartment. I don't know, just crazy, crazy stuff guys. But I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one with all things classroom, wedding and moving. And yes, I'll hope, I hope that you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video, bye.